Yo, 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 what's happening, Facebook? We are live, man. It's your boy Randy. I'm checking in. You know what time it is. Hump day. We are standing on top of that hill. Uh, looking down at it, man. I know y'all are getting ready for this weekend. So you can go celebrate your victories. Um, I'm going to wait a minute to see uh, how many we can get in the room. When you fall into the room, man, let me know where you're watching from. Drop your favorite emoji in the comments. Let me know where you're watching from. What's going on, Michelle? Thank you for stepping in. You know what I'm saying? Today we're just talking about... Um, like, are you too nice for your own good, you know? Are you too nice for your own good? What's happening, Stacy? What's happening, Kelsey? Thank you for checking in, man. Talking about are you too nice for your own good? When you come in, let me know where you're watching from. Drop your favorite emoji in the comments. And we're going to get down to it. What's happening, Shatara? Appreciate you for checking in. Are you too nice for your own good, Shatara? You think you're too nice for your own good? If you, feel, if you think that you're too nice for your own good, drop a one in the comments for me. If you feel that you are too nice for your own good, Drop a one in the comments for me now. What's happening, man? As you come in the room, let me know where you uh, where you are uh, watching from. And if you feel that you are too nice for your own good, drop a one in the comments. And we're gonna break it down to see, um, you know, if, if this is you. We're gonna see if this is you. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna break it down on uh, how to figure out how to break that from being <laughs> too nice for your own good. You feel what I'm saying? We're gonna see if we can get this number to jump, man. Share this to your friends. Share this to your teams. If uh, you feel like this message will help them, I'm sure that it will. So uh, we're just going to see if we can get the number to jump just a little bit more before we get started. But like I always like to do, I like to give it to my replay the same way I give it to my live. I don't like to leave you sitting back waiting and wondering, uh, when is he going to start? When is he going to start? We're going to get right down to it. Are you too nice for your own good? I mean, like, real talk. Do you find yourself in situations where you will allow yourself to be uncomfortable? Allow yourself to be uncomfortable in situations that do not serve you situations that will not benefit you whatsoever you are totally uncomfortable but you still don't say anything being too nice in a situation when you don't really have to be you know because you shouldn't do that because in reality what you're doing is you're faking it and you definitely don't want to give off signals or signs of being a fake person so being too nice for your own good is doing damage to you it's doing damage to you on the inside. See, you try your best try to keep it on the inside when you really, really despise a person or can't stand someone's ways or stand to be around a person. You can't stand their ways, but you still put on this fake smile for them. But on the inside, you're carrying this feeling, these emotions. See, we live everything from the inside. So when you're beating up the inside, you know that everything from the inside uh, re uh, reflects on the outside. So how you carry yourself. You understand what I'm saying? Your, your, your eating habits. All of this stuff is affected by the way you carry your emotions, the way you talk to people, the way you handle relationships. You got all this stuff bottled up because you're being fake in other places, because you're being fake in other places where you should be real. You should be you should be real in these places where you're going to show up, where you need to show up. These are places that you need to show up. You got to start following your heart, meaning you got to start truly feeling the direction where you need to be. Let me get some likes. Let me get some loves. And you uh, come in the room. Let me know where you're watching from. Uh, Cali in the house. Vegas in the house. Um, man, we're just talking about, man, are you, too, are you too nice for your own good? You got to start following your heart. If you, you know, I had a situation where I was out of the club. I, I stopped going to clubs as frequent as I used to. You know, I, I'll still go out and, you know, have a drink every now and then. But I stopped frequenting clubs like I used to. And I went, I was out with a friend and um, he made a detour and took us to a club. And I did not want to go. I hated it. I, we went inside this club. We're sitting there. And I didn't want to be there. And I started feeling uncomfortable. And the new me came out. And I just walked up to him. I said, look, man, we need to go. I don't feel comfortable being here. I had no idea we were coming here. If you would have asked me if I would have wanted to come here, I would have told you no. So to detour from what we had planned to do, what we were supposed to do, um, it's not cool. I would have drove my own vehicle if, you know, you know what I mean, if, if, <laughs> if I would have known all of this was going to take place. So... Simply by me to expressing that and walking out of that club, not, not really caring about what happened after that, my decision was made and I made that move. He came out and we left, you know, but it was a lesson taught to me and a lesson also taught to him. I mean, you just don't take people to places that they don't want to go. You, you know what I'm saying? It's, <laughs> and, you don't, and you don't sit there and you don't fake it. If you're somewhere you don't want to be and you're and you drug off to a place you don't want to be, you better voice your opinion. You heard the mouth, closed mouths don't get fed, so don't sit there and fake it and go hungry. Don't sit there and fake it and go hungry. I'm telling you, you'll dry up like a bone in the desert. Real talk. So don't do not do that. You know? You give away too much of your energy to these people when you do that. Too much pressure. You're giving away too much of your energy when you're faking it. When you're being too nice to these people that you, 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 really, you really can't stand to be around. 
You really can't stand to have them within your circle. But what you need to do is get those people out of your circle. If you can't stand to have them in your circle, then you need to displace them. You need to remove them from your circle. All of that pressure is not needed. It's, it's pressuring you to put out a lot of energy that's not needed to be expended. What's going on, Diana? What's happening, Harmon? I see you, Shalom. Appreciate y'all for checking in. Let me know where you're watching from. Drop your favorite emoji. Um, hey, drop a one in the comments if you feel like you're uh, nicer than you should be. If you're too nice for your own good. Too nice for your own good. You know, you, have you ever noticed that people who are more honest and blunt are respected more? They might be disliked, but they are well respected. They, res they are very respected. Do you watch what you say around them because you know they're definitely going to add their two cents. They're going to let you know those people. Yeah, they might be they might be disliked, but they're highly respected. So take a little bit of that road. Take a little bit of that book and apply it to yourself and, 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 and get some respect for yourself by sticking up for yourself. You don't have to be you don't have to be nice all the time about things that you don't appreciate or you're uncomfortable with. You got to step up and be that's not being nice. That's really that's being what you call stupid. That's being that's crazy. To be somewhere, you could lose your life in places for not speaking up, for being too nice. Oh, I'm a nice person. I don't want them to think that I'm bugging all the time. No, I, I want you to think I'm bugging all the time so you know the next time to never bring me anywhere like this ever again. I'm going to bug always. What's happening, Diana, out in New Jersey? Check that. Check that. Appreciate you for stepping in. You know what I mean? Because um, cause the thing about it is, man, you, aren't, you, you will never be truly free, man, until you can comfortably ex express yourself. You will never be truly free until you can comfortably express yourself. So if you're steadily hiding behind these fake smiles and putting on with these people in your life that really don't mean you any good, but just, you, you know, that, that you can't, you really can't tolerate they itch your skin. That's no way to live life. There's no way for you to go through your day at faking it around these people. Dismiss. That's, that's, that's all you have to do is dismiss. Dismiss, man. The thing is, is a lot of people don't know how to deal, uh, how to deal with difficult people. You know what I mean? So that's what it is. So, they be not, they're, they're nice to them. By, not know, by them not knowing how to deal with difficult people, they decide to be nice to them instead, but they can't stand them. All you're doing is bringing that person around you more. You're inviting that person around you more. You know what I mean? And you can't, you can't do that because you're beating yourself up on the inside. Like I said, everything that, you, everything that you hold on the inside reflects, you carry it on the outside. It shows up on your outside. You can do whatever you want to try to make that up and make that pretty and, and exercise that out and do whatever you want. But until you actually cleanse yourself spiritually, nothing's going to get right for you. It's not going to get right for you. You have to, you can't carry emotion around, false emotion around and share it with people. You know, people, people don't, we don't resonate well with false emotion. We don't, we don't, we, we pick it up. Real people pick up false, emo, false emotion well. We recognize it and we zero in on it. So don't carry around false emotion. It's a lot of people that is, I, can't, I can't stand to be around because of their attitude because they will tell you what they think in a minute. But that's, that's, that's cool. That's cool. Some of them are that blunt to where they, I'm, I'm not that type of person, but I will let you know when I don't appreciate something. I'm not going to allow you to do something to me because I don't want you to think I'm a mean person. Nah. You don't, hey, you can get, you can get away from me. I'm moving life. I'm going from this life to the next life. This life right here now that I'm on is a progressive life. I'm, I'm progressing right now. You feel what I'm saying? So it's a lot of things. I got my blinders on right now. So I can't be watching. I can't be being fake with anybody. I got to keep it real. What's going on, Ken? Appreciate you for checking in, man. Um, I, I got to be real with everybody because right now, the only people I want to attract to my circle are real people. So why would I walk around putting on fake smiles for people that I don't intend to eat at the table with me? Why would I put out placemats and dinner plates and forks and knives for people that I don't intend to feed? Why would I do that? Because I'm nice? No, that's too nice. That's too nice. You being too nice, man. You baking too many cakes. And it's, and it, and it's, it's not in a sense of being selfish or being a certain way. No, 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 no. It's not that. It's keeping it real, man. You, you got to handle your business. You got you to gotta put your foot down. That's the same way in relationships. Don't be nice in a relationship because you, you, you I mean, I'm not saying don't be, don't be nice. Don't get to tripping with your spouse because I'm saying this. What I'm saying to you is if you don't appreciate something, open your face and speak on it. You have to. You know what I mean? That person will respect you a lot more. Hey, respect is sexy. Respect is hot and sexy. To real talk. When you can respect, man, when you can be respected, and I'm not talking about when you can respect someone, when you can be respected. You feel what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's hot to me. You feel what I'm saying? So you have to, you have to always, man, carry your real emotion. 
Carry your real emotion with you. Share your real emotion with people. If you're sad, be sad. Go be sad. Go cry. Go do what you have to do. If you're happy, be happy as hell. Don't care who's around you. Because what did I say? You are not truly liberated. You are not truly free until you can express yourself freely. So go and be as happy as you. If you're mad, go off and be as mad as you want to be to yourself. Don't be damaging to yourself. Don't be corrupted to yourself. Find a nice punching bag. Find a nice gym to get your anger out. But go be as angry as you are in a safe way. Go be as happy as you are in a safe way. If you're sad, go cry your eyes out in a safe environment, in a safe way. Don't be afraid to do that because bottling your emotions up and being fake is never good. I did a live the other day. Faking it won't make it, and it won't. Your heart is going to give on you one day, and it's going to be at the worst time for you. It's going to be that time when you're really trying to be at your toughest, and your heart is going to give away. It's going to give away, and you're going to need somebody to hold you up. It happened to me. I got friends here on this live right now that had to hold me up because my heart gave away on me. My heart gave away on me because I had emotions bottled up so tough, and something hit me so hard one day that they just gave away because I had been faking it. Now I express them. If I'm mad, I'm mad. If I'm sad, I'm sad. You got to let it go. All this tough man shit that, that we do. If you love somebody, if you love your bro, tell him you love him. I told one of my homies I love him. He got weird. I'm like, man, you, you crazy. Like, hey, bro, I love you, bro. Like, that's, come on, man. That's what, that's what we do. We're supposed to share the love. You're quick, you're quick to say it in a cool ass way. You know what I mean? But I got love, nothing but love for you. Nah, bro, I love you. You know, you never say that too much though, right? You know what I mean? But it don't bother me. I'm comfortable in my skin. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not scared of my emotions. So, <laughs> so take it how you want, man. Y'all could be bottled up and, 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 and keep people from you. See, I want to bring more people to me, man. I want to bring more people to me. I, I, I have a few tricks up my sleeve. Like what old boy say? I have a, I have a, I have a small set of skills that I possess that, um, that, hey, that, that could, that could allow us to get along so well together, man, that we could change the world completely. You know, just a small set of skills. I just want to share them with you. You know, can, can I do that every now and then? Just remember, man, always make sure that you're not being too nice for your own good. Always make sure that you're not being too nice for your own good. Um, if you're uncomfortable in a situation that does not serve, you know, I speak about being uncomfortable. Those are two different type of uncomfortables. All right. So um, being uncomfortable for growth, meaning to do something that you've never done before. Uh, stepping outside of the box that uncomfortable is different from this uncomfortable that uncomfortable will serve you this uncomfortable no if something if you don't like my barbers here you know I talk about my barber uh, all the time man cool cool cat I was telling you he, how he grinded his way up if I was to be if I'm sitting in the chair and he hands me the mirror and I'm looking in the mirror at my hair and he asks me if I like it and I say oh yeah 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 man it's cool and then get on Facebook and say Oh man, so uh, he messed my hair up and blah, 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 all this and that. You feel what I'm saying? See how I just faked that and, and went on Facebook and went, and, and went wild with it and, and created something totally different when I could have just been straight up and been honest with him and told him and tell him what it is, right? Tell him what it is and he fixes it for me. No deal, right? No, no big deal. But no, but me hiding emotion, when people hide emotion, that's what happens, you know? But hey, but no, don't get it twisted. Ken's a stellar barber, man. You gotta check him out. So faithful, uh, faithful cuts, man. And Stevie J's, I'm telling you, celebrity cuts. He's cutting all the Mavs, all the Cowboys. That's why we go. So yeah, I had to plug my guy. But hey, man, y'all stay happy, stay healthy, stay humble, man. I gotta get out of here. Stay healthy. Make sure you put in great whole food nutrition into your body, or else anything's possible. <laughs> y'all have a great night. Peace.